Hi, I'm Robert Crow. I'm with Searchlight Group. And today we're going to look at uh, the basics of uh, editing pages. So uh, we'll take a look at uh, how you can edit web pages in Sitecore. It's one of the really the most basic things that you do on a daily basis. Just edit pages, make changes, create new pages, and so forth. So uh, in this example, we'll be uh, using a website that we designed for Boingo Wireless. And this happens to be running in Sitecore 7.2. Uh, it's using an MVC design, and uh, it runs on the Amazon Cloud, although in this example, this is running on my local machine. So there's three main user interfaces, uh, really applications that you use in Sitecore, uh, the, the desktop, the content editor, and the page editor. And you can, you can edit content in all three. And they have, there's a different focus for each one in, in, in terms of how it's used and, and the kinds of user that, that will use it. Um, so let's take a look at each of them. Let, let's start with desktop, which is the most advanced uh, of the three. Uh, it gives you the most capabilities. Okay, so here's desktop, uh, and uh, it looks very much like running in a Windows desktop, uh, which is why it's called desktop. Uh, but you'll notice I'm still I'm still in a web browser. I'm still in Chrome, uh, and this is all just uh, HTML. It's there's no uh, there's no plugins or anything like that. Um, so uh, desktop is normally used by you know more advanced users. They have a lot more things they can do here, um, and uh, there's a uh, there's the Sitecore menu which uh, contains a lot of stuff. Let's let's take a look at some of them. There's for example there's Marketing Center. Um, we're really not going to focus too much on this in this video, but you can do things here like set up goals and campaigns and personalization and profiling and so forth. So this is used a lot for uh, more marketing and personalization type of uh, stuff. Uh, and let's see what else do we have. Uh, there's control panel which is really something that admins use a lot for doing things like uh, re-indexing or setting up uh, different languages and what have you. Uh, let's see what else. There's uh, oh the App Center. That's a good one. That takes a second to load. This this gives you the ability to load a, a really even more applications. We're looking at the basics really that come out of the box, but you can expand Sitecore quite a bit with with a lot of uh, additional applications. Uh, and you can, of course, write applications for the App Center. Uh, so let's close all these up and, and get back to really just editing content. Okay. So uh, there's there's really two big uh, applications that you use to edit content. There's Content Editor and there's Page Editor. Let's look at uh, Content Editor. And uh, you'll see, actually, this is running as a window, too, on, on the desktop. Um, OK. So on the left, we have, this is called the content tree. And it's really very similar to a website hierarchy of, of folders and web pages. Uh, but actually, this is a tree structure of database objects, uh, which Sitecore calls items. and that you know they might be whole web pages uh, or they might be parts of pages or metadata objects um, and many times let's just open up and take a look at some of the stuff here so they might be whole pages uh, some of these are whole pages or they might be parts of pages um, or you know just metadata objects uh, so many times these these items won't really have a presentation by themselves because they're not they're not really intended to be served by itself as a web page. They're they're used to pull they're, they're pieces of, of web pages. So for example, uh, if you're doing personalization and you're building a web page that's really based on a particular user profile, 
then you're going to pull from from different parts of things to to really bring together a page that's personalized for that user. Um, so that's one of the ways that you can really enhance the user experience by by really making the website respond to to that user. Um, all right, and on the on the right here we have fields. These are actually groups of fields. You see, how I can open and close the group, uh, and here you can you know you can do what we're talking about today. You can you can edit things. So this is just a plain text field, for example. This is an image. Uh, there's a there's a wide range of different types of fields. You've got links. Uh, you've got checkboxes, HTML, of course, and there's a WYSIWYG editor for that. Um, and each of these items, those fields are part of a version of the item. So uh, you have versioning, so you you know you save versions as you go forward, so you can back up if you need to. And there's also um, internationalization, different different languages. So uh, a version and a language kind of go together. Uh, if you're interested in that, we're not going to talk about it a lot today, but uh, you might want to check out the, the other video that really goes into managing multiple languages on, on the website. But let's make a change here. Okay, so let's see. So let's... Uh, I can type. Okay, we'll save that. And then let's preview it. So we'll, we'll go into preview. You see how it opened up another uh, tab in the browser, and here's the page being previewed, and there's some controls up at the top too. Uh, but you'll see that it, 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 it added the change that I made there. Um, which I don't particularly want to keep, so let's go ahead and and back that out. All right. So this is content editor. I'm just going to kind of go over this real quick. Um, let's take a look at page editor. So now I'm in edit mode in page editor, and you see a very similar stripe of uh, controls up at the top. You also see some stuff that you wouldn't be seeing normally if we weren't in edit mode. But authors have to have access to this, so this is part of the design that we did for Boingo to, to give users access to things and even some instructions on how to do things. Those really only show up in edit mode. If I preview the page, well, we saw this just a second ago. That's what the page really looks like, and I can close up the controls even, and, and we get an idea. So. I can get back in a page editor in the into edit mode really and and here's a that same plain text uh, uh, field that that I can that I can edit so maybe instead of Mineta San Jose it's uh, uh, Brown San Jose or or what have you and you preview that and, uh, whoop forgot to save the changes there you go. Okay, there's brown. All right, and we'll go back into edit mode and change it back. Okay, and this time I'll save it. Okay. All right, what else? Well, let's take a look. Uh, there's a really nice feature of preview that is a lot of fun and really very useful. Um, this is a desktop presentation of this page and it's it's a responsive design so it's it's responding to the width of the device that I'm looking on looking at it on here but one of the things I can do is take a look at the same page on other devices which is a really handy feature to have so for example on an iPad take a look at that and you'll you'll see it even it, it even puts the chrome around uh the device to, to really give you the feel for it and I can even rotate it so really nice feature to have the page really doesn't look too much different because the width is you know still within what the what the design uses for that width let's take a look at at uh, on an iPhone you'll see here the the responsive design has changed the menu structure and so forth so 
it's responding to the width of the device. And there's there's that, you know, really, really get an idea of, of how your page is going to look, and you can rotate that too, and, and so forth. All right. Well, so you can see I, I've really just scratched the surface, but I hope you've kind of gotten a, a, a little bit of an idea of some of the range of, of stuff that you can do in, in Sitecore to, uh, to edit your pages. Uh, and if you'd like more information, uh, you can contact us at www.slgroup.com. And uh, thanks for listening.